Hi there, it's uh, Joe John McGuire again. I'm at my, uh, or one of my favourite pubs in Hammersmith, Weatherspoon Pub, the Plough and Harrow. Uh, I've been here many times, recited here many times. Uh, feeling pleased today because I've just finished my fourth poetry book of the year, uh, which I'm very proud of. Uh, there it is. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. Up close and stressful. Right. With Joey Joe McGuire. Um, here's the last poem in the book. Uh, I'm really pleased as well because it's all uploaded to, as everything else is, my lifetime's work all loaded up, loaded up to my, uploaded, sorry, to my uh, website and also to YouTube and uh, the publishers every publisher uh, won't see a penny from me 100 percent sure and it's all non-profit making anyway so click those buttons please uh, anyway here we go my latest poet poem last one in the book uh, under starters orders i dare not to switch it off the television for fear of letting silence infiltrate the room take control yet again. You see, silence is my greatest fear. It is the starting pistol, the catalyst that reacts with my thoughts to start my mind racing. The trouble is that I get confused and don't recognize the sequence of events, find myself running in the wrong race, anti-clockwise. I hear the bell teasing, it repeats itself frequently over and over again causing my pace to quicken i frantically reach out my heart crushed as i lose sight of the finishing line but like a mirage it's never where it should be and i'm running alone batteries low i'm stuck in a marathon sprinting at a snail's pace metallic trying to run on magnets and it's not just the marathons. I am overtaken, constantly overwhelmed, for I could have been someone, I could have been a winner, but for being jostled. My own stupid fault, I suppose, for being naive. I had elbows too, but was not prepared to use them. I am the author of my predicament, Last people don't get medals, no flag waving and no patting of the back. The alternative? Leave the television on, keep the silence at bay, sleep will come with exhaustion. It always does. One day, if I get lucky, I'll find out if it's a race I'm in, or if I'm just running, there at the bell, but never an end in sight.